Hi friends, you must have heard about Android One and also Motorola Moto phones. I have with me the Micromax Canvas A1 which is one of the three Android One devices launched in India. The price of this device is 6499 rupees on Amazon.in and overall this is a very good looking device with blazing fast software. On my right hand side I have Motorola Moto G2 and this is running on stock Android KitKat 4.4.4 just like Canvas A1 and there is also a phone called Motorola Moto E priced at 699 rupees on Flipkart. The Moto G2 is priced at around 14,000 rupees also on Flipkart. Now the question is what is the difference in between this Android 1 and the stock Android you are getting on this Motorola Moto phones? First of all let me show you the Android version and as you can see both have 4.4.4 KitKat. So what is the difference in between these two devices in terms of software? Well there is basically no difference both are exactly same devices with same interface same softwares both of these phones does not have any custom skin just the stock Android. That's why the speed of the interface, the time taken for opening applications are identical on both of these Canvas A1 and Motorola Moto G phones. But if you look closely, you can see that the camera app and also few more applications are slightly different from these Motorola phones. These are basically Google apps and somewhat more feature rich than the basic apps on the Motorola Moto phones. But you can of course download these apps, these are free and authentic Google apps so there is nothing to worry about. On the Android One device you are getting all the Google apps preloaded. There are a few more added applications both Micromax and Motorola installed into their stock Google phone. For example here you are getting Motorola Migrate Alert and Assist. Canvas A1 has got Hike, Ask Me and Amazon applications which are basically ads. So in this regard I think the Motorola applications are more handy. Still these are third party apps and nothing to do with the interface. The only difference I can find in between these two phones are in the list of wallpapers and ringtones. So the Android One devices and Motorola Moto phones or any other device running on stock Android KitKat 4.4.4 are identical, there is no difference actually. What matters is the quality of the hardware Micromax and Motorola providing you. Now the interesting fact about these Android One devices is Google has set the specifications for these devices and Micromax Carbon Spice have made their devices following their specifications. That means all the three devices have got the same display, same battery, same CPU, GPU, RAM etc. You are getting quad core 1.3 GHz Cortex A7 processor with Mali 400 MP GPU and 1 gig of RAM 4.5 inches FW VG IPS LCD 4 gig of storage 1700 milliampere battery and the same set of sensors now these specs are just perfect for running Android Google has tested their OS on this spec and they can guarantee you that you are getting the optimum result the best experience you can get from any Android device there is a perfect tuning in between the software and the hardware Moreover, there are some interesting offers from the shopping portals, Airtel and also from Google. You'll get coupons worth 2000 rupees for shopping in these portals and the offer from Airtel is you can download software updates of 100 MB per month and also app downloads of 200 MB per month for 6 months. That means you cannot use this data for browsing the internet. You will also get magazine and newspaper subscriptions from Google for 12 months and uh, the upcoming YouTube feature which allows you to watch videos even offline. But of course this feature is not going to be an exclusive feature for this Android One phones. These are the three devices that have Android One at this moment in India with almost same price tag and Amazon Flipkart and Snapdeal are the sellers of these Android One devices just like the Motorola phones which as you know only available on Flipkart. Now all the Android One devices will get automatic system updates for up to 2 years and this includes Android L. There is also an 8GB microSD card comes free with these Android One devices because the camera on these devices does not work without the memory card and the internal storage is actually very low around 2.3GB out of the box. 
Now on the other hand Motorola Moto phones also got this type of offers from Flipkart and also upgradable to upcoming Android L. Well now let me quickly point out the differences in the hardware of these two devices. Canvas A1 sports a front facing 2.4 megapixels camera and Moto G2 also has got a 2 megapixels camera but Moto E does not have any. Hopefully Moto E2 will get one. All these devices have tiny notification lights at the front and uh, navigation keys on screen. At the top there is a secondary microphone on the Moto G2 and Moto E also features this. This helps in noise cancellation in noisy places so this is a premium feature not on canvas one. There are dual speakers on this Moto G2 and both of these phones feature LED flash with the main camera but Motorola Moto E does not feature any. Both Moto E and Canvas E1 have 5 megapixels autofocus cameras and Moto E can record in HD but Canvas E1 can record in full HD. In fact Moto G2 can also record in HD not full HD. But the quality matters and regarding the quality of the cameras both Motorola Moto E and Moto G2 are better than Canvas A1. In indoor lighting Canvas A1 delivers average quality images and the front facing camera is actually quite good but the rear camera is not up to the mark. Mostly the focusing is not correct and the dynamic range is very very low everything looks very dark and not that much sharp. Regarding the design, Canvas A1 is a very good looking phone with slim profile and unibody like construction. All these three devices look quite good. Now though the display of Canvas A1 is quite good, it's inferior to Moto G and also Moto E. Moto E sports a QHD resolution screen but the display size is slightly smaller than Canvas A1, it's 4.3 inches. Moto G2 sports a 5 inches HD display. The battery backup of this Canvas A1 is not as good as I expected. I am hardly getting a full day backup and the back part of this phone is heating up while talking and also while charging. Moto phones are giving me at least 1.5 days and the back part obviously heats up while talking or gaming but not that much compared to this Canvas A1. The call quality on all these devices are excellent but Canvas A1 is I think giving me better sound quality from the ear speaker. The loudspeaker is also very clear and loud and I think somewhat better than this Moto G2 and also Moto E because the sound tend to crack on the Motorola phones. The Antutu 5 benchmark result from this Canvas A1 is quite impressive and as good as this Motorola Moto G2, Moto E is actually far behind this result. The optimized hardware of this Canvas A1 is the reason for this excellent benchmark performance. Each and everything opens very fast on both of these phones and there is no lag or no issue I have faced on any of these three devices till now. In this context I want to mention that Android One devices use MediaTek chipsets which is MediaTek 6582 and as you know MediaTek chipsets are considered somewhat inferior to the Snapdragon chipsets used on this Motorola Moto G2 and also Moto E. But in real life you may not experience any difference. All these three devices are buttery smooth and it's good to see that entry level devices are now not compromised like before. Well that's all in this review guys, all these three devices are excellent for the price and you can get any of these. Check the description below for in-depth reviews on all these three devices and you can also buy this phone from the links in the description. You can check gadgetsportal.in for the reviews and also facebook.com slash gadgetsportal for the camera samples. For android games and applications visit my other channel gadgetsportalplay at youtube.com slash gadgetsportalplay. More reviews are coming soon on this Canvas A1 so don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. You can also comment here if you have any query. So thanks for watching, subscribe and keep in touch.